I get a lot of questions about my trailer, so I figured I'd do a tour on it today. It's a 12 foot 2020 box trailer with the high top. And I specifically got the high top because when I'm in here, I have enough space for a welding hood. Uh, to stay on my head so I'm not hitting my head on the ceiling so we'll go ahead and start off right by the door here there's just scrap metal all kinds of drops same in here just scrap stuff that for some reason I feel the need to keep this is a cordless shop back by Master Force and a quick we'll go through here this holds my fire extinguisher which is a mailbox uh, i got a subwoofer because i got surround sound in here this has my earplugs and hard hat and respirator and other stuff in there safety glasses this one's kind of a catch-all for a whole lot of crap i mean it's got a lot of flap disc down there uh, extra cutoff wheels and straps and just a bunch of junk really. This is kind of my storage trailer until I have my big one. This is kind of my my storage trailer so There's more in there Just flap disc grinder wheels extra stuff for the TIG welder Just miscellaneous Stuff that you need, you know. It's, and then I gotta move the jack. This one. Extra oil and power tools. A lot of this is mainly oil and trailer and gate hinge parts and stuff like that. Extra giant D rings and just a whole bunch of oils and sprays and extra stuff. <clears throat> Nothing too exciting in these. There's extra paper towel, screws, bolts, cutoff wheels, bunch of, I guess, caution tape, all kinds of stuff in there. And then this one's all my rods and, and wire. I got all kinds of different wire in there. Uh, back here is all my a whole kit full of just tape, miscellaneous tape. And then this is the one that's the first aid kit. A uh, big can of Lincoln rods back there. Whole saw kit, just some, it's a whole bunch of junk, really. It's not as nice and laid out as my truck, unfortunately. Up here, this stuff don't ride up here, but the trailer's been sitting for a while. It don't leave the house too much. So, this dial indicator, uh, white fluid for the truck. Uh, we'll move this down right here. <clears throat> Like I was talking on the truck tour, I buy the paint, the black paint by the box. That's what that is. These up here, these are power adapters. These are called dog bones. And they're just, they're just homemade power adapters. And I have a 12 volt battery charger up there for when I need to boost something or I'll talk about my generator in a second but yeah that's that area right there uh, over here got a couple heavier coats uh, it's we just got done with February going into March here soon and where we live it's it's not too nice in uh, <laughs> in those months so I keep extra coats in there uh, extra welding jackets. Uh, I got a caulk gun, some paint stuff over there. Grinder shield, two welding helmets. Uh, there's an oxy settling kit. Here's the 100% oil gun. There's a C25 mix. <clears throat> and then right here, this is all stuff for my Vulcan uh, TIG welder. This 205 TIG machine, I'm yet to do a review on it. I need to though. It's a pretty decent machine for the price. 
that was another Facebook Marketplace find. Uh, but yeah, that's where all the gauges and the plugs and all this and that. That's where those go. Uh, got my light, <clears throat> my trouble light, and right here's a fall harness. Uh, some jobs you need it when you're up on a bucket or up in you got to tie off somewhere on a scaffolding that's what you need leather tool belt just for <clears throat> it's kind of the same thing as the harness you know you don't need it until you have to have it just to save your back or save your knees so that's kind of what that's for <clears throat> extra tie off points for the harness um, tie ons for tools uh, I got a hundred foot of line rope right there all tied up nicely uh, a couple squares extra belt for the air compressor the air compressor is not on this trailer right now oh uh, that's a wrench that I used to change my fuel filters on my 6.7 power stoke extra air hose because I don't have an air hose reel in here yet or a oxyacetylene hose reel yet so I just kind of hang my hoses right here and that works pretty good for me this right here is what's called a mud board and behind there I have an old school uh, stretcher it's from a fire department basically I use that similarly to the mud board you lay it down where it's muddy and you can walk or lay on it not get all muddy this is a hundred foot uh, extension cord of 240 24061 and this is a 50 foot of 24061 and here's stuff for the plasma cutter uh, sun's kind of making it difficult to see it all uh, arc gouge torch some junk extension cords that probably need to be thrown away and a whole bunch of scrap metal whole bunch of just miscellaneous <clears throat> long pieces they're all tucked away over there I know that sun is just making it difficult to see but a little drum thrown for sitting down makes a great seat trash can uh, air mover or whistleblower for the Squirrel cage fan, I guess what you call it, uh, for confined spaces. Uh, over here is kind of, it's a mess right now, but I make these little necklaces and I sell them. They're made out of stainless steel. I cut them out with the plasma cutter and I uh, attach these different pieces of leather on them. And yeah, it's just a little side hobby that I have. <clears throat> but I'm putting that box up there. But uh, this usually stays clean uh, if it's going out to a job. But it's kind of my mobile workshop right now, so just kind of sitting here. Uh, I got a drill press, and over here I got a bench grinder. This is kind of where I just kind of set my air tools there. I don't have too many air tools in this trailer. The air tools are usually on the truck. Um, I'm slowly building up the air tool collection for this trailer. Here's all the TIG fillers. You got silicon bronze, 50, 53, 43, or 53, 59, or whatever it is. There's 4043. Um, just a whole bunch of filler material. This stuff is expensive. This silicon bronze is ridiculously expensive. I can't believe they want they want like 25 bucks for just this right here. And there's not a lot in there. So, oh well. Under here, I keep an extra bag of concrete in here for doing fence post repair and handrail repair. Uh, that way I just ain't gotta go to the store and buy it. Uh, I guess this is trash. There's my plasma cutter. Need to do a review on that one too. And of course I got my Evo saw. I love that Evo saw. I guess we can go ahead and well before we go to the toolbox we'll talk about this little rack right here. Got this uh, little rack at a yard sale. 
from one of my buddies. And uh, say same with the lockers. I got those from a yard sale from a buddy. And they worked out pretty good. I like this to be able to just set stuff here. And the lockers are nice because it gives me a space to store everything in a tucked away position where it's not going to fall out when I'm moving the trailer. I guess I didn't talk about this stuff. Of course, there's my spare tire. I keep this for moving my cylinders in and out. Uh, chances are if I'm bringing a trailer, it's a fab job and I need to move my equipment and machines in and out of the trailer. Creeper for when I do exhaust work. I usually just throw this in the truck and run truck only on exhaust work though. Here's my little Makita half inch drill. Back here is the hammer drill. And a cover for my engine drive and that is it back there. Here's all my extra exhaust pipe that I have on standby in case I need it. Um, got some clamps. Nothing too crazy. Some dunnage. You guys will recognize that from the truck tour. Uh, Plasma cutter consumables, vice, extra shoes, bunch of clamps. I mean, this is a respirator in here. Uh, stainless steel MIG wire. It's a whole bunch of crap, really. Uh, let's get into this thing. <clears throat> There's bits. These usually aren't sitting here. These are for my necklace making thing. It's for that Dremel tool. Uh, in here is basically all my DeWalt power tools again. Some of them are out. Not not everything is where it should be. But got my charger in there. Uh, the adapter for my saw. Just power tools up here, really. Uh, this is all measuring stuff. Measuring and marking. Squareness. Calculations. Angle finder. Uh, I got a pair of mics in here somewhere. I thought I had a micrometer in here. Oh, I got calipers right there. Some wedges and stuff. And here is all hand tools. Like all kinds of hand tools. Pipe wrenches mainly. Some welding pliers and adjustable wrenches. Just basic stuff. Nothing too crazy. This is not a. Uh, this trailer is not as outfitted as my truck. Socket sets and specialty. Uh, this is actually this tool, these two tools. So, this right here is for fuel lines on vehicles, and this is for the Ford radiator uh, couplings. This is a removal tool for them. And then I also got in here a couple of uh, emergency lug nut removers. Just why not? sockets deep and short two uh, reg wrenches my regulators and here got these bits those bits are pretty handy I got those bits on the truck but I also have them on here uh, I got nicer ones on the truck though these are just a little set of wrenches these came when I bought a giant uh, f800 boom truck these were in one of the toolboxes so I said keep those uh, just a bunch of hammers, hammers and picks and slag chippers and specialty built stuff. And just all kinds of good stuff in there. So yeah, that's what's in there. And that uh, that pretty much sums up everything here in the trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my generator that I usually put in the trailer. So. This is the five gallon gas tank that usually stays with this generator. I'll get it out in the light. This is a snapper, 650. It's a uh, 6 kW. It's got a 389 Briggs on it. Electric start. I really like this generator it's not bad I got to do a review on it as well but I put a battery maintainer on it just like everything else and uh, of course I got my gen exhaust dipstick in there uh, not too nothing too crazy on this one I, I kind of bought it um, 
panic panic mode because I had an engine drive go down and <clears throat> I had a big job coming up so I had to buy this thing to uh, run my wire feeder to get me through that job to where I could at least um, at least wait be able to wait a couple weeks for an engine drive to show up so I could order one because uh, when I ordered the one for my truck it took oh man it took like they said it would take two weeks but it ended up taking like five or six and wasn't too happy about that but we got another fire extinguisher back there and some more damage right there can't really see that sun it's just messing it up but yeah that really concludes the trail oh, I guess we got a long four foot four foot level back there but yeah that concludes the tour of the trailer so thanks for watching hope you found this informational if not entertaining uh, make sure to like it subscribe it and all that hopefully you liked it if you didn't go watch somebody else that's about it have a great day